Tesvav. <laughs> Miss Molly David, I do know me a gorba, lecha, me ishka, maharka, checha. I like Tommy, my fayol sedek, with a vemis, bovavai, maragala, lucha, I know, I lost all the way, hurrah. Prepal, I know, so I'll cry, boy, nevzebi, I know, nemos, was here, I do know, you have it. Nishbala Ravala Yomir Kaspoi no no sabineshech Shoi chad al no ki loi loko Choi sei le lo yimoit li oi lom Tezayin Mikhtam le David Shomeni el ki chasi sivo Chomart la duino ya duino yoto Toi vasi balo lecho, lekdoi shim asher boret seimo, vadirei kochev tzivom, yibu atzvei som achamoru, valasich nizkei amidom, valesa shmoi som al svosoi, adinoi minos chelki v'choi si ato, toi mechkoroli, Chavolim naflu li banimim af nachlos trofroloi Avoreches adoinoi ashe yotzoni af leilois yisru nichel yoisoi Shivisi adoinoi linegdi somit ki mimini balemot Lochein somach li bi vayogel kvaydi Af besori shkoin lo netzach Ki lo isazov nafshi lesho Lo siten chasid chol eroi shokhas Todi eni orachayim soi vas mochois Es ponechon imos vimil nechon etzach Not so early, but it's okay. Do you do your right leg on all? The rose began in the little coach I shan him. I would have the man he got. I listen to the Kvanita. It's given to the Rosh Hashiva. The Darshan, the Chumash, the Darshan, the Paisik, the Yoyets, the Miyayets, the Machazik. 
Es ist noch da, weil ich habe nur das. Ich habe nur noch das. Ich habe nur das. Ich habe nur das. To find a person is a ruach boy. Whereas the ruach can make it call echad v'echad. Rosh Hashiva is a chorin of the vocha. I mean, he kept parsing the shkavai. He had that ability to understand each person what he needed. To give the chizuk, to give that smile, to give that encouragement. We're reading the pashas now about the avos. The avos Oilam, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov. Each of these three were amudim, as Kiyodu and the Svarim. Avram, the Ish Chesed. Yitzchak, the Tfilah, Avoida, and Yaakov, the Ishtam, Yoshev Aholim. The Rosh Hashiva embodied all these virtues, outstanding, and Chesed, even if you were somehow able to find out Megala Tefach, Mechaset Vachayim. And Tvila, the Amut Sloisoin, how many came for Bracha, for Tvila daily? He had in mind everybody and included them. I carried on his shoulders all the Tsaras of Yisrael. And Torah, who, who's Paskin, the Shilas. The many shilas that nobody else would even think of doing. There was one address. I, yeshli habi mois lefarid, vainly lemi lepartam. Chazal tell us on the pasuk v'ashem imay that David Hamelech. Halacha kemaisa b'chal makayim. His psakim were his accepted whenever he said b'chal makayim. All the shtachim of Yisrael, wherever it was all mekubel. I, the Chazal tell us b'chol la'avelim. Veloila veda, Masha the Margolis. The Margolis remains wherever it is. It remains the Margolis. It's the ones that lost it. They're the ones that are missing. May it be a good or better. As he goes to Shemayim. On behalf of the Shvega, the Rabbitson, who was devoted to him all the decades, all the many years, and he to her, they watched each other. To the children, to the Einiklach, or Einiklach, who was so devoted, and the love that he showed to them, and they all reciprocated. I to all the yedidim, to the yeshiva, to all the chaverim who were so close and carried, he carried them in his heart and they always thought and carried him in his heart, in that great heart. When he, he saw he couldn't, he couldn't do anymore. It was time, it was time to leave this world. Let us hope and be mispalel that koil doidi daifek, that feeling, that love, should still pulsate within us, 
those memories, and we shouldn't forget all those causes that were close and deep to his heart, the maestos, the tzedakos, and it should come the time, in this difficult time for Klal Yisrael, like to call upon Agoyen Rab Ruvain Feinstein Shlita to, to speak. It says that Avraham came The Yoshiva asked, it says in the Gemara that you're supposed to do Bechi first. Gimel Bechi, Shiva Lehesbit. And he explains. That depends to who we're talking to. Talking to a girl who understands, who doesn't understand. Baruch Hashem, we're talking to people who understand. In other words, there's a lot to cry about. You have to cry about the Gainus, the Psakaloche, the Midas Toivis. Those are the things, many things. So what's the point of the Hesbid? I think one the Kudde that has to be stressed today. The Chachomim are called Ene Yahom. There's a reason for it. They can foresee what can, what's going to happen or what could happen from the situation that is. It could be because of his history that he had this keach of Eitze, of a, a, a people to give him, to see the tzorist of the time. He came from a time when it was going down, when the chubman was going down. He wasn't able to learn with his father. He had to learn about the curl, and he would pick it up just listening somewhere else. And he also saw the binyan of Teire, as it is now, Baruch Hashem. And he also started to see the problems of the world, aside from COVID, and sign from other problems that may arise. And we need him. For this, we need him. We need him to analyze the situations and to know what to do. For that, we have to cry. And I think if we not mouthish that, we should really have to cry. Will speak online.
My trillers and your trillers, trillers of Kali Soil. Tira was in between the, the two settlers. Vaira and Chaisara. I think that's his work. It's called Akedas Yitzchak. The title refers to it by Hashem Nisa Es Avraham. It was a test for Avraham. The role of Yitzchak is slightly underestimated. It's not taught properly in the yeshivas. Yitzchak was the source of the Masorah. Avraham listened to Kaddish Baruch Hu, whatever he said, because he came to the conclusion that Kaddish Baruch Hu is the Melech Olam. It's his world, his world, his will dominates. But it was Yitzchak who could have said you have all um, heard from Kaddish Baruch Hu. That has been for us, Yitzchak. I didn't hear that. I'm only listening to you as a Novi Hashem. Yitzchak's willingness to accept the tzivui of Avraham as if he had heard it directly from Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's the basis of our Torah. Yitzhak isn't given enough credit, except in the reference to the incident. It's called Akedas Yitzhak, not Akedas Avon. The binding of Yitzhak was an affirmation that a Novi repeats accurately my contact with my brother-in-law got old in every way span of what 60 years we would meet often on Friday after Shia. Whenever possible, I attended my Shreyazat's house Shia on Friday. He was then already after his Shia and with his Talmidim around the block from the Yeshiva, relaxing with his Talmidim. His behavior with his Talmudim was as a feral Talmud. His Talmudim did not miss the point, the greatness. The Shia was said, and then the friendship was displayed. Friendship with people 
who are younger, dependent upon him for the Lima nevertheless, his ability, when I would bring him someone with a shaila that wanted to meet the observant personally, he had one behavior with his Talmudim and one behavior with those who came asking for his help, a bill, an explanation of what is the Dva Hashem in this circumstance. The Shvel, the Chitzarek Levrocha, commented on the Pachashi in the beginning of Chai Soa. Why the reference the Chai Soa lives Meir Shana, Eschem Shana, Sheva Shonim, to let you know that there was no loss of greatness, no matter what the age. And so uh, was a bas mayor. She was a bas esrim lechet, esrim lechet. Person isn't punished by Kodesh Baruch Hu until esrim. So she was before chet. Never sinned in her life. Ma bas esrim lo chota, jaleina bas onshim. Afa bas meyo lo 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 chet, and bas esrim is ke bas sheba liofi. The shreya commented, "Is that really accurate?" 20 year old women are not pretty. Why do you say she was pretty as a seven year old? What's wrong with being pretty as a 20 year old? This I made a comment. Bas Esrim Kibasheva, if a bus Esrim would wear an outfit that doesn't exactly fit her, she will be open to criticism. For a Basheva, there's a charm in a Basheva that overlooks all minor infractions of social standards. David, was a Basheva Lechet. He had his way of dealing with people. He had his way of dealing with Talmudim. He had his way of dealing with family. Each method was above, beyond criticism. Could not criticize his behavior because it always fit the circumstance. He could be from a, go from a shir to a simcha. And I would often be there and sit next to him and see here how has Tamidim come over to him, how he responds to them. The derecheres for a Talmud belies the informality of his language the informality of the smile on his face when he spoke to a Talmud. Sadly, it's my schus to say goodbye. I hoped it wouldn't come to this goodbye. I was hoping in Yes Hashem to share many simchas with him. This was the will of Kaddish Baruch Hu. Yehei Zichro Baruch. May his memory be a blessing 
for the Torah, to show you what Torah can do to a personality, to perfect it, to sharpen it, to make it acceptable to all societies under all circumstances. Mobila Mavasanetzach on me. Rabbi Chaim Ganswag Mashkiach, Peter. You want me to tell you that the Rashiva Zeich Tzadik Uvracha was a guy in the Rashiva Zatzal said many, many decades ago, as a Ken Shas, in the Rashiva Zatzal's Hasogas of Shas. And from that time, Lopasuk Girsim Pume. You want me to tell you that he was a Paisik Kiyadua, Rival Yashiv Zichalivracha, held him to be the Paisik of America. You want me to tell you about his Ehrlichkeit? The Rashiva Zatzal said at a certain instance, the vestige gefin in the Erlecha as AVM. So I don't want to talk about any of those things. I want to talk a Pasik about in, in Shaya, Kapitel Nun Hei, Pasik Gimel. Pasik says, Hatu Oznechem, Luchu Elai. Shimu Sikhi Nav Shikem, Vakr Salakan Brisailam, Khazde David Hanemonim. And the Mafarshim say, what does it mean, Khazde David Hanemonim? It's the chesed that the Rabbi Shalom did to David that it's Naaman, it's permanent, as explained in Kapitel Perak Tes and Tehillim. But I want to take a liberty, Al Peter Chadrush. Chazde David Hanemonim is referring to the Chasadim that David did. Not only the Chasadim that the Rabbi Shalom does, but the Chasadim that Unzer David, the Rashiva Zatzal, the Chasadim that he did. You would observe him during the Hamshach of a Seder Hayyim. Chesed, Chesed the whole day. <laughs> I can't go into details, but I want you to know that Kamad, everything he did was Chesed. He wasn't Mechuyiv to run the Yeshiva, he wasn't Mechuyiv to run the Kailo. 
he wasn't mechuyiv to do a lot of the harbotzes tire that he did. It was chesed, chesed, chasodim. And more than that, he interacted with people. It didn't matter who the person was. He could have been an usher. He could have been an ani. He could have been a chacham. He could have been a tipesh. He could have been a talmud chacham muflog. Or he could be an amaritz. He could be great. He could be small. What they all found out after a little while is they are recipients of his chesed. He was able to do chesed to all the people that he had to do with him. And many of them didn't even realize that they were recipients of his chesed because he knew how to deal with each person for the taiva of that person. He was a mative. Many people didn't understand that they were being makabal hatava. But the Metzius, he was native. Everybody, everybody that he had to do with were recipients of his chesed. But even further, the Shiva Zatzal writes in Darash Meisha, Pasuk and Micha says, and we say it in Davin, Avas Chesed. And the Rashiva writes, the mitzvah of Chesed has two chalakim. One is the actual Chesed, the Hatava, the mice of Hatava, doing good to another person, helping a person in need, whatever his need might be, great or small. But the Rashiva Zatzal adds and says, it's not enough to do with the mitzvah of chesed. It has to be done with ava. It has to be done with ava, mekalkelis, ashura, like Avram Avinu. <laughs> and how much was he a Talmud of Avram Avinu? Not only do chesed, and not only do chesed, people didn't even realize that they were being makabal chesed from him. But he did it with a tremendous ava. And ava, I'm a calculus, is a shura. <laughs> the mashkiach in Baltimore, if David Kronglas is a chetzadik levrochot, said, everyone knows, you have a schwer rambam. To fire for a schwer rambam, that means I'm not going, a grace of London, who could be me a schwer rambam? But chesed, anybody can do chesed. You give the guy a dollar, he did a chesed, name. Nein, Reb David said, not true. To do chesed properly, you have to be a goin. You have to be a goin to do chesed properly. We had a living example of goinus in chesed. When Shmuel Anavi came to be Meishach David Lemelech, David is no place to be found. No place to be found. And finally, Shmuel Amalekh had to inquire, where's the youngest one? Where's the little one? And Machol is outside. He's out with the children. <laughs> He's with the child. He's with the sheep. And the Rishiva remarked on more than one vacation. He's much more comfortable in the back with the boys. Such a 
Set a nechbel a kalim. La hafli. La hafli a nechbel a kalim. You couldn't find it. Nevertheless, he was able to be Isaac in Chesed for the Prat, for so many, 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 and every individual that he had to do with, he gave, he was mischatzed with them, he, he, he was made to them. And when the time came to step up to the cloud, he was found. Whether it was our good Israel, whether it's Tayyip Mitzaya, whether it's our good Rabbanim, whatever it might have been, the French children, he was there in the leadership, the Nechbel Akalim, the Tzanua, that you couldn't find him and he was there. Shiva Zatzal said, Derech HaOlam, if a young person passes away, people say, oh, it's terrible, Rachmanus, what this person could have grown into, what this person could have done had he lived a long life. When an elderly person passes away, people say, Kachi Darka Shalaylam, Kachi Darka Shalaylam. Nein. Shiva Zatzal said, the greater tragedy is when the old person passes away. Because when the elderly person passes away and he spent his whole life in Taira of Avaida, he takes with him his Taira, he takes with him his Chosim, he takes with him his Gainus, he takes with him his Kayach Absak. He takes with him his Erlich Kite. <laughs> and we don't have it anymore. We don't have it anymore. In such a time when we need, we need so much Haikona, we need so much Shmir. <laughs> What can we do? What, what can we do? I don't know what we should do. I believe, if I may say so, Michilas are covered. Be mechazek in the midah of chesed. Chesed, if possible, as he did chesed, with gainus, with the Kayach Apsak, the Chesed was Ali bin the Hilchasa. With Erlich Kai, there was no self interest, there was no self gain. Everything was for the Taiva of the person for whom he was being made to. And I want to tell you what I think to some of us, maybe, maybe, whatever, might be a Chiddush. Maybe. Someone is not such a guy. Chesed also needs a Shailis Chacham. You're a Balatava, you have the Mida, you have the ability, and everyone does to be native to another person. Don't assume you know what you're doing. Unless you're a guy, unless you're a Paisik, unless you're such a great madrig of Erlich Kite. It needs a Shailas Chacham. Many times ask a Shaila, but be a native. Be a native. Firstly, be a native to yourself. Be good to yourself. Be a native to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, to your surroundings. Be native to the Klal, be native to the Prat. And I would think it would be a great schus if you'll be native to the yeshiva. The yeshiva now needs chizik. Or Hashem, we have with us the Rosh Yeshiva, Rebruvain Zal Gazunzain, 
and other members of Hanhala, both here and in Staten Island, but we need a chizik. Be native to the yeshiva. Keep the yeshiva in mind, whether in Ruchnius or in Gashnius, whatever it may be. We ask the yeshiva. <laughs> we beg. We plead. You're already before the Kisei HaKovod. You were Nifter Erev Shabbos. You went straight to the Kisei HaKovod. And I'm sure over there you're together with the Rashida Zatzal. Be a Melitz Yaisha. Be a Melitz Yaisha for the Rebetzin. Shalcha v'shalanu shalahi. Shalcha v'shalanu shalahi. Be a Melitz Yaisha for her. She should have gazunt. She should have kayach. Be a Melitz Yaisha for your family. And especially, not everyone the same, but, but special mention for the Rosh Hashiva Rebarel, your son, who's being Mamala Makai. That he should be granted to be Matzaliach. Yeah, man, it's Yaisha for the Lower East Side who loved you so much and for whom you were so protective. Rosh Hashiva, you know we, you know we shared a common problem. You know what it is. I beg you, beg by the Rabbi Nishra, be mavat of Ixera. Be mavat of Ixera. I check the Xavier. Hundreds, maybe thousands of a nice Israel Xerais who just want to be Yiddish Imamas. <laughs> I davened for you, you davened for me. You know that. Be a Melitzyaisha for all of Klal Yisrael. We live in such uncertain times. We need a tremendous shmira. We need tremendous rachamei shemayim. In Ruchnius and in Gashmius, mi bayis and mi bachutz. Please, please, I beg of you. I beg of you. You took so many schutzim with you. You have, I'm sure, I'm sure you have such a kayach. See by the Rabbi Nishlein that you never. Shavach Madis on us. Bila Mavis on Etzach. Mochad in Elohim, Dima Mialko Ponim. Herpes Ame Yasir. The Gula Kreva Shlema, the Neymar Amen. Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky, Mr. Shiva from Philadelphia.
I see that I'm up here. I hear better than the bottom. So I don't know if you hear or you don't hear. So please excuse me. I don't know how much I can add, but can just say that Der Nifteri gewesen, ein Ausnahm von einem Mensch. Ein Ausnahm means particular, spe special, that is very hard to describe. Because a human being has many facets, and he was kuloi toiv, kuloi with ever he came in contact, he was a chaver, a chaver a, 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 a good friend. There are no words to describe his personality because he was a mimbifnasma. A mimbifnasma means that he was completely himself. He was a, a person that he understood everybody. He understood everybody what, what they want. And he was always willing to give, to add whatever you need. I, if I can help you, I'm ready to help you. That was his Metsius. So you'll have to excuse me. And I have nothing else to say. And I just say, the Shish would be a Melitz Yosha for us. A Melitz Yosha from Gansen Klal Yisrael, and Zeche Zain Tagula Shleima Bekore. Mama Fashalas. Simply by itself, it's schwer to be masked one's Zayde, one's Rebbe, one's Rav, God Ladar. But to stand up here and have to talk about my Zayde, who was all those, to speak about in Godless and Tyra, I can't because I, I wouldn't be able to judge at all to say. What I could talk about is on August that we saw a little. Those who are so excited to be here, you came to Yeshiva, sit by davening, it's a kindness, three hours, four hours, the beginning and the end was the same. He didn't have a tumla in what he did, just the same, over. When we davened Shemayin Essay in public, on Nebuch, when he wasn't well, he davened the exact same way. His asmada was Ayin Lishaya. He would sit and learn, and you couldn't interrupt. Remember when my cousins, the triplets, were born, and also under three babies tumbling in the little apartment, and Zaidi was just sitting there learning. Nothing, 
nothing interrupted. My wife would bring kids up from the, to the park, and she'd want them to say hello to Zadie, and my kids can make noise, and they would go into the room, and he's just learning. You would have to, my grandmother would come and interrupt him, so he, he would say hello. His Hatznei Aleches, everyone knows, he, he, he just walked amongst us like he was one of us and treat us that way, but he was on another, another level, his Hanava, his Pashtas, and he thought everyone would, would think the same way he was. He would tell me, what's the problem to tell that person, Musa? He's going to say thank you. And because that's the way he was, he assumed everyone would do the same thing. And as the Mashkiach said, Chesed was what he was. My, my Shrei used to tell me, Yezid is a good sport. He would sit for pictures. Someone wanted to take a picture, it wasn't good. He'll do it again and again till you were happy. He, he was born Parshas Baloischa and he was known to say many times from his father that uh, Maftir is a message to you. There's the Parsh of Lashon Hara. And he said, Eivishta made me quiet, I'm quiet. Keeps me out of trouble. But for everyone, he had time to talk. Whatever they, whatever they needed, he, he would give them. I would, I would ask him all the time. I said, Zaydi, I'm only Papa because of you. People call me. How do I get in touch with Rashiva? Where's his apartment? I want to go. What's the time? What should I do? I don't want people to chase you and nudge you. And he would say, Shlomo, your job is to do chesed. You help them come. And if I don't have time, I'll tell them. That's not your chesed. The most important thing by Zaydi was to do anything to keep Shalom. All the time in the Shir, he would always say this Maimir Chazal was very precious. But but as still as he was, he you know, he loved us. Any time as a child walking the streets. He, he would hear a, a car honk, Rabbi Bramfeld would be honking his car, Zaydi would be hopping out to come give you a kiss, and, and then he would go on. But he didn't ever stop, stam as I to schmooze. So one time, I asked him in a roundabout way, I said, Zaydi, let me ask you a, a shy that is a famous Maisa with the Vilna going that his sister came to visit him after many years, and after two minutes, he said, I'm sorry, no time. I said, where's the chesed in that? How do you, how do you treat someone that way? We have all these mices, we could die, that they spent hours with people. And he said to me, the family, you, you know, that they know that you love them, and that you have the time for them, but stam to schmooze, I don't have the time. He always would say, you know, my cousin Dovi would tell me, so he'd say, um, my nephews even, my nephews, he said, everyone knows the door's open whenever you want. I always have time for them, whatever is needed. Zaydi, you connected us to a Mardik Shalshalas from Zaydi Feinstein, you always... Yeah. But these last few months, the unfortunate downside of you not being well is you didn't have as much kayak to learn, so you had time to schmooze with us. And many of us, Baruch Hashem, was able to spend time with you, and we were makabal a lot from you in that time. I just the love that he shared for all of us. I have to say, a Meister, that I thought of Shabbos. Um, my nephew Pesach was born in Eretzol, and the next day my cousin Yerucham was born, and we were sitting in the park, and someone comes over and says, Rashiva. Are you, are you going to Eretz Yisrael for the bris? And he said, what's I have an Enochel's bris here. And the guy said, but that's an Enochel, I don't understand. And Zaydi said, if they're running towards me in the park here, do I care which comes first? He would always say that the, the favorite is the one on the lap. And at that time, I said to Zaydi, I said, Avram Vinu made a, made a treaty with Avi Melech, Nino Nechti, and now she says, I gimel dairis adams merachim. So how, I said, this year asked you, the enikel. You said that shava. Chazal say the enikel. I think it was the few times he smiled and laughed at a question and agreed that I, I, I stumped him. 
Yeah. Normally, I would say we, we have to ask Mechila, but I know from us family, Zaidi, we gave COVID, we listened to everything, we never questioned anything. You know, if Zaidi told you eat a piece of fish, you ate the fish, he told you dive in for the Ahmed, you're down for the Ahmed, he told you go to Ertzel, you went to Ertzel, whatever he said, there was no question. We, we learned this from Bubby. Bubby's love and concern for Zaidi was unbelievable. But uh, she never asked him anything, where you're going, what's going on. Zaidi told me, Bubby just has to know when I'm going to be home. She never asked me anything else. She gave this, I'm saying now, she gave this great gift to Claudia so that he could be out there without her thing, after telling anything. She didn't say, just say when he's home so she didn't have to worry about him. You know, um, uh, the, uh, the other night, the other night I was in the house and my son was learning uh, on, on this night aid to America and all of a sudden my wife calls me and she said, I just hear Shomu Pfeiffer saying a story about Remeir Zlatowicz, I know Zaidi's next. And sure enough, the story went how my grandfather gave a lot of money, I think the story is $25,000 to help art school when there's Shreya Matzev to put out the Shasin. And Bobby and I and Zadie were in the room, and, and Bobby said, that's one of the few things I know. And I said, Bobby, where did he get the money? And she said, that I don't know. I didn't ask him, you know. And she shared with us a, a, a little, you know. Um, she used to also say uh, these last few months, you know, how the last few years, how Zaidi went out extra, took on more for himself. He used to say always in, in the shir, another thing he always say about the Maisa with the Rebbe, that when he was young, he had uh, uh, five gabayim, and when he got older, he had one gabay. And they asked the Rebbe, how could that be? You know, and the Rebbe said, now that I'm old, I don't have kayach for gabayim. But my Zaidi kept on adding on gabayim, he had kayach for everyone, maistas to run around for, and that, that was his daiga. I was zeichet to learn here in the yeshiva. I remember when my Zayde gave a hesped for his rabbi and Michal, he said over the Pasuk in Shlach that the Meraglim said that they were Chagavim in, in their own eyes, and the same way the Meraglim looked at them to have And Zaydi said that there's a rabbi though that picks you up, and you're not grasshopper in his eye. And that was Remichel, and that was Zaidi. He sat in the shir with us, like as if it was the first time he learned the Gemara. Something he learned many times. He would sit there for the first time and learn it with us, how you would learn something the first time. And that's how he taught us. Uh, There's one last thing about, I have to say something about the east side. Uh, walking the streets here today, from the house to the yeshiva, every step of memory. Every, every step thinking about what my Zayda told me on that spot. He, he, he loved the Lower East Side because they all loved him. Everyone, whether you were in the yeshiva or not, you had cover for him, you took care of things that he needed, and you helped out. And it was something he was always marker type, you know, that it meant a lot. When we told him the last Simcha, simcha Taira, that we had a labor dick of Simcha Taira in the yeshiva, he was very tzafidin. When he heard there was a minion when he couldn't come, that was what made him happy to hear. I just want to end off with maybe two stories. This first one goes back um, in the early 1980s. My, I was, uh, I'll start from the beginning, sorry. I was once asked my Zayd to, to explain to me Pshat that the uh, Sar Gay Malchus that the Ben Chai says because Yosef wasn't Michael the brothers, the Chari they asked him. And he, and he said that Yosef was saying, it's not you, it's the Ebishter. But the Tainan maybe that why you have to be the Shliach. But he was saying that, he was just telling me, it's saying Hashem. So he said, I'll tell you a story. There was a Yid here in the yeshiva whose daughter was a Kala. And, I, and, I, and, and then his son got sick. So he wanted, the guy wanted to push off the chas and let's see what's with his son. And so he was asking me what to do, and I said, ask your daughter. And the daughter wanted to get married. They got married, and shortly afterwards, the son passed away. And so a few years later, this man comes over to my Zayda, and he says, you know, it's terrible. My daughter's married like five years. She doesn't have a kid. And my Zayda said, what do you mean? It's, it's your fault. You're a Vic paid. 
He says, I don't have a kpeh to my daughter. Uh, he, he sa- so he said, you didn't want her to get married then. He said, but you said, so I listened. So he said, but this part, you uh, didn't, you had a, a taina that she forced? He said, I have no taina. So Meizeh made a bezdin with him, Rabbi Lamner, Rabbi Schiff, and Taichana, they had, they had a kid. Because that, that was something important. My Zayda always would say, you don't get ahead if someone else, if someone else um, is at expense. You know, the last my son saying that point, uh, another Nikud, I mean, I'm sorry, was that uh, the day my sister was Niftaris, my Zayda had two meetings for Klai Yisrael. One was for, for Tei Meseira, one was for Chinech Atzmai. They had some Shailas they wanted to ask him, and they couldn't get through because he was by the Tei Meseira meeting. So he called my, my uncle, and, and they asked him, and he understood the Shreya Matzah, he answered. And then, we, my Zayda finished his time of meeting, he called my grandmother, and she said, and she told him, come to the hospital, and he, it's very, it's Shreya Matzah, and he said, I'll come after Chinech I have to go. And it was, I think a meeting was by Ezra Bayman's office, in the middle, they called in to tell him my sister was Nefteris. He took a phone call, he came in. My, my uncle said, you could, he knew the matzav and he couldn't imagine that was the phone call because my Zayda just con- continued on. It was important for Klai Yisrael and that was what he did. Zayda, I just want to ask Mechila on one point that, that the, the limudim that you gave to us, the shalshalis of the Torah that we have to be magic to our kids, I hope I will give over properly, but I want to ask Mechila that for the times that I disappointed you because I wasn't makitav to people probably, I wasn't carve people as much as possible. I didn't treat people how you wanted always. I didn't uh, prepare a shayla properly before asking you. You should be moichel me on that. Bila moves lanetzach umochash dema meavah kol panim. Rav Mordechai Feinstein. I don't, um, I don't stand here to represent uh, Hesbid for Klal Yisrael. I don't, um, not familiar with all his interactions with Shilas, with meetings, and um, how he led Klal Yisrael. We were both in the yeshiva in the years. We actually were in different directions. I was busy in one place, he was busy in another place. So whatever perspectives I have, they're purely my own. And it doesn't mean it's anything to reality. By him, Pashtis was very partial. It was not, never thought of himself better than anyone else. He never said, Kablu Daiti. He never said, you have to listen to the way I paskin. You ask me, this is what I tell you. Don't, you don't have to ask. You want my advice? This is my advice. All the years, years ago, it was, everyone noticed, besides the obvious, he never wore a kapoto. He used to, you sit by davening, in the back, behind the beam. He was only pushed in front, I believe, when my Zayda was nifter. I don't think before he ever sat near the Mizrach. Um, He was a regular friend to all his Talmidim, especially years ago, the years of the early Talmidim They'll all tell you how much of a buddy he was to them. I remember when my Zayda was alive, almost no one even heard his name. Honestly, when people asked me who your father was, they would say, who? Absolutely nobody heard of him. 
except for maybe his Talmidim, close people. Then, after Maizedi was nifter, sort of exploded. He became known and bigger and bigger. Everyone became more famous. It, he was completely oblivious. Didn't change him at all. He was always, as was said, he was always very careful never to make people feel bad. He didn't look to rub shoulders with the most hush of the people. He was close to the regular Yid. He was very busy shouldering the burdens of the yeshiva, the kailo, a yeshiva chinech a busing program of chinech atzmoi, Rav Michal's yeshiva. He took these achrayas on him and it cost him a lot of energy and he never thought of not doing them. He would schlep to anyone's wedding Someone asked him, Misad the Kedushin, I need a Misad the Kedushin. Didn't have to be a close Talmud. Someone knew, knew of him, not someone from a neighborhood, someone that passed through. And he needed a Misad the Kedushin. He would schlep. And he would schlep to writing. He couldn't care if he was Misad the Kedushin. He didn't care if he didn't get any bracha person wanted him at the wedding, he went. He slept, he slept far. He, in his old, uh, the last few years, it was very hard for him to schlep. He would schlep, and it was very tiring. The next day he would schlep again. Um, this is not in order of things, but I would ask uh, Michilo, for not enough kibbutz over the years. Um, maybe I had a chance to redeem myself a little bit, but I, I would always, I always used to say, you know, there were people that used to be praised for their kibbutz. And I always used to, you know, be jealous of those people. And, um, I used to say, you know, I understand they have great keyboard, but that's because their father was infirmed. He's an invalid, so they had great keyboard. My father, I can't do anything for him. He's totally independent. He never asked me for a favor. He won't never take anything from me. It was very hard to me to do any keyboard. If I was disrespectful ever, I asked Mechila. He had a great simcha to keep a halacha. By him, the small minhagim was sacred. Every little minig. He would always, anything that ruled his life was the Messiah. But it was a minig, a small minig. He was a very used to like make me feel guilt <laughs> not not wanting to eat the head of a sheep on Rosh Hashanah. It's a minute. Everything everything passed his even in Halacha basically he followed Minig. What is the Minig? What does Klal Yisrael fear? Doesn't matter which we shine him said this way, that way was Fintman. The Misaira is what he lived by. He had a tremendous simcha for any mitzvah, the Lulva of Esarik. The last couple of months he was mostly in bed. He did everything in bed, except a small amount of times he left. But Sukhis night, he got all dressed up first two nights of sukkahs and ate his tiny suda in the sukkah with great simcha. He was makbid to do the rats in Hashem. He was makbid tefillah b'tzibah. He was a stickler. 
We come back late, find some place to go. Yet when he was sick and it wasn't appropriate to have a minion, it didn't bother him at all. He had no agenda to daven a minion. He just wanted to do the Ratz and Hashem. When he asked the doctor about eating on Yom Kippur, it didn't bother him that he had to drink. Oh, I can't eat, I can't fast Yom Kippur. By eating, he was doing the Ratz and Hashem. It didn't matter at all. He didn't have any issue with it. Um, I think he saw he's asking for Mechila from him, from, in the name of everyone, asking Mechila. I think he wants to ask Mechila from everyone, and anyone should be Michael him. If they felt slighted at any time, they should be Michael him. I couldn't find it on my videos, but I, re I believe I recall that he was talking in the hospital uh, maybe two months ago or so. He like went into a trance. Like he was, he was like lucid, but he was t make, talking in a trance. He was like giving a sheer, talking about going to Olam Haba, about everyone should be mechazik and carry on and be strong. He was giving a speech into the, into the, just into space, like he was in front of an audience. And I believe at some point he said, if I did anything to you, please be Michael me. I couldn't find that on the video, but I would like to give that over. If anyone had any feeling of a slight at any one point, be Michael him. I would, also to illustrate about him something that says it very well in all reality. We had an aide for the last couple of months that was there a lot, and he grew very close to him, and he texted me something, and it's a palette, it's so to the point, it's worth reading this text. Good, mor good evening, Morty. With so much sadness in my heart to text you, after I was informed of the passing of the rabbi, your father, 18 minutes after I texted you yesterday afternoon to wish you a good Shabbos and to wish the rabbi a speedy recovery, that the rabbi was called home to be with his maker, to rest from all his great works. I would like to use this medium to express my condolences to you and your family, also the entire Jewish community that the rabbi impacted for many years and was known by the entire world. As you know, I was not with him for months or years. Nevertheless, I was honored to have served him. Such a humble man, kind-hearted, pleasant smile, such a great loss, but his work and his legacy lives on for all to cherish. To you and the family, thanks so much for allowing me in the privacy of your home to serve the rabbi, an experience that I will never forget. Thanks for the love and respect, especially from your tenacious mother, a virtuous woman a great wife. You know more than I do that your father, the great rabbi, had such a wealth of knowledge. He was the master teacher, 
that many students sat at his feet to learn from. Okay, that's, I'm stopping at that point. So in this short time, he had an incredible impact on his aides who were caring for him. So I guess that sort of encapsulates a lot that was being said. I would like to thank many people over many years that need to be thanked. But first of all, I'm unaware of all the people. The list is too big. Anyone, t tons of people are being left out. This is only a tiny sampling. All the people that are left out is not meant as a slight. All your help was appreciated. All the little things and big things you have done is appreciated. And during Shiva, we will try to recognize that. I would like to thank his caregivers, Dwight and Roxon, for such wonderful care. I would like to thank Drs. Moshe Gunsberg, Dr. Moshe Weisberg, Dr. Yitzchuk Ariel for coming to the house whenever needed. I would like to thank the Lower East Side Hatzolo. I don't want to name the, all the individuals. The, everyone in the Hatzolo is dedicated and would do anything for him. I would like to thank his longtime doctor, Dr. Jerry Hollander. All the years my father was in charge of his own health till his latest sickness. During this latest sickness, we went to Columbia under the care of Dr. David Sherman, a wonderful and caring doctor who understands the role of a doctor in Hashem's world. I looked forward to seeing him every day. My father very much enjoyed his visits. They used to sh ask him every day for a Dvar Torah. He should be blessed with everything. I would like to thank Eugene Weiser and Rabbi Yisrael Ginsburg for all the help over the years. I would like to thank Rafal Aaron Price, Mayor Berkowitz, Rachman Sultan, Aaron Brody for help over this last while. Many people deserve thanks that I am not aware of from earlier times, old times. We greatly appreciate them. Some people don't even want, would not like them to be mentioned. Well, I would like to thank all the people that helped with the burden of supporting the yeshiva and kolel. He greatly appreciate your efforts. Uh, your efforts, we need you more than ever. I would like to thank the Talmudim of the Yeshiva. And I, oh, that's what I wrote. And strange thing, when everyone write, when everyone thanks, the last one that everyone thanks, either the first or the last one everyone thanks at a bar mitzvah wedding, is the Abishto. And Obviously, thank him for the whole life, called Nishima, Nishima. But I'm here to give a thanks for Yoisa Mechelki. Give me an extra thanks for the last few months. I wasn't even aware till Friday morning when Dr. Sherman told me that they never thought he would live the first time. I wasn't even aware of that till the end. I, I thought. He was expected to get better. Seems like he was never expected to get better three months ago, whatever. And the Abishta made him better, and we had all that extra time to connect and to be with the family and to do all the mitzvahs.
Okay, it's covered already. They gave us those extra eight months that what I'm saying is that maybe he, his life was extended so we could have this close to have him and he could do those mitzvahs and be with family and we'll give all the brachas that he gave in that time. He was trying to massage a dinner for the yeshiva in that time, working very hard. And for that, we are extra thankful. We hope to be able to, to continue the yeshiva and everything he did, not just to continue it, but to improve it. To be, uh, to be ashamed of the Ferris for the Messiah that we got from my Zayda, my father, and she called Mylon Molo, Abiyaz Gold Sedek. If Rabbi Edelman could come and say Kelmole. Follow, following the Kelmole, the ambulance will be making a U turn. It will be going towards Rutgers. So no one should go towards Allen. It's, going, it's making a U turn going towards Rutgers. If everyone could right now on the right side of the ambulance to please begin making their way towards Rutgers right now to make room for the Oren. If everyone on the right side, right side of the Oren, could please begin, no, right side of the Oren, right side of the Oren should please make their way towards Rutgers to make room for the Oren. I'm <laughs> It's Nishmas, but I know Rabbi, I know Rabbi David, but I know Rabbi Moshe. Shalach, boy, boy, boy. Babush, Blina, the Yitnu Zaka, but as God has Nishmas. We got Naden, the Heaven, the Chasai. Lachem <laughs> Viel beten Michele in meinem Namen und Namen von allen Chavrei Yeshiva und Talmidei Yeshiva. Er soll sein am Elitzioische für uns alle.
Nobody should follow the ambulance. The ambulance is going to be turning around and going down in the opposite direction that it's facing. <clears throat> Everyone behind the ambulance should move to the yeshiva side of the street. Do not follow the ambulance. Do not. Stop. He's going on so, left. So we just got to go on left. Everybody should move to the yeshiva side of the street. Everybody should move to the yeshiva side of the street. On the sidewalk or that side? This is where the ambulance is going, right over here. Oh, well, the car's behind the car. Okay. Guys, please back up. The people right in front of the yeshiva should please move to, more towards the building so that they can get the car out. The people right in front of the yeshiva should please move towards the building. Guys, guys. Please make room. Please make room. Please do not touch the ambulance. Please do not touch the ambulance.
Everybody, please walk slowly. Do not push the person in front of you. Car's coming, car's coming. Car's coming. Tell the car to turn out a little bit. Tell the, good, good.
Okay. okay. Everyone, please back up a full two feet away from the path of the ambulance. Nobody should be touching the ambulance, and everybody should back up a full two feet away from the path of the ambulance. Everyone should please stay a full two feet out of the path of the ambulance. There are a number of vehicles which are left double parked and unattended on East Broadway and Pike. If you left your vehicle unattended and double parked, please go take care of it now. <laughs> 